On Tuesday, May 29th, Hillers Baseball closed out their TVL schedule with a battle against Bellingham. Bottom of the fifth, it was a 2-1 Bellingham lead, but then the Hillers bats came alive. Larry Sacklad had the call. Zach Sasitsky has a chance to tie things up. There's a ground ball. Fair, down the right field line. Here comes McKenzie, he'll score easily. Sasitsky rounding first base. Heading for three. The ball is cut off by the second baseman. And that's a stand up triple. Uh, Zelmo Sasitsky. Score is tied up. Deuces. And there's a ball hit in the center field. Very deep, way back, way back, way back. And that ball is off the fence. Here goes Stevie around second. Zach Sasitsky scores, and two straight triples. Back-to-back -back triples for the Hillers. Will ya? There's a ball hit in the right field, way up in the air. Right field, a challenge by the Sun, and he makes the catch. Tagging up from third is Stevie Simos, and he scores easily. Now the score is 4-2. The Hillers pulled off the 4-2 win and improved to 15 and 5. Brandon Kelly pitched a complete game gem, striking out seven and giving up two runs. Hopkinton Baseball then took down Nossett Thursday night to finish the regular season with 16 wins and five losses overall. I caught up with head coach Steven Simos after the win versus Bellingham. Coach, uh, a win today against a uh, good Bellingham team. Uh, can you talk about your team's performance out there today? Um, that was a typical uh, Hopkinton Bellingham game. That's the, the team and program I've had the most respect for. They're always the uh, they're a team that everybody looks up to. They're going to be making the tournament. I'm confident for like their 25th year in a row. He does uh, TJ does a tremendous job, and you can never just show up and beat them. You have to execute. Um, that was a good high school baseball game. You know, we played well. Uh, a lot of different guys contributed. Really happy with the way uh, Brendan pitched today. It was his best outing of the year, and um, could not be more proud of his team. You know, 11 and three in the league, and 15 wins is an accomplishment that uh, I don't think many people thought we could do early on. And, and coach, after a bit of uh, I don't want to say um, too rocky of a start, but you know, some bumps and bruises in the beginning. This team really has seemed to uh, come together and just be one of the most dominant teams in the TVL. Uh, can you just talk about the chemistry of this group and what it's like to coach them? Oh, it, it, you can't speak any more highly of them. We we talk about painting a picture uh, over the course of the year, and we don't have to. It doesn't have to be a beautiful picture at the beginning. We have the growing pains, um, and we try to get better every day. And and they epitomize that this year. They really. We were two and three at one point, and I think we've won 13 of our last 15. Um, but it really isn't about the the wins and losses as much as we were competitive in a lot of games. I think the, the Millis game was a uh, turning point for us where I think they got a little bit comfortable. We talk about being relaxed but not comfortable, and they got too comfortable in that game. And um, I was out coached, they were outplayed, and, and I think every team needs that spark, and we had it. And it's been great. And then the Pedroli tournament is really a, uh, sp something special that um, can never be taken from them. And uh, Coach, what was it like to take home that title in the uh, Pedroli tournament? You beat a good Natick team and a great Franklin team. What, what's it like to uh, claim that championship? Oh, that's very, very special. We have a lot of respect for the Pedroli family. We love seeing Mrs. Pedroli every year. Um, and it was a, uh, it was really special because, as you know, there's three good teams. You can't win that tournament unless you play very solid baseball. I just love the belief that they had that they could, that they could win um, against those teams, and they did that. And like we said uh, today, a lot of people tell them, you know, it's a new season, we start fresh, nothing you did to this point matters. And I tell them, I've never believed that. Everything they've done to this point matters. Nobody can ever take their record in the TVL, their TVL title, their uh, Pedroli championship away. They'll always be a team with a, their graduating year in the banner. And um, it's been a success. Everything now would be a bonus. So. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to the rest of the season and the playoffs. Best of luck, and we hope there's many more games to come. Yeah, me too. Thank you very much. On Tuesday, 
11 and 6 Hillers softball took on 11 and 6 Bellingham and celebrated their lone senior member Emma Murphy. Bottom of the third, the Hillers bats went on a tear. Gets a piece of this one, tattoos it, a left field over the reach of Alexis Rodriguez, one in to score. Here comes another, it's a four nothing lead for the Hillers. A two RBI double for Emma Murphy. Set to deliver to Celia. Up the middle and that'll get through into center field. Here comes Emma Murphy to try to score the throw home. It's not in time. It's 5-0 Hillers and now Cedia advancing to second. 2-2 two -two pitch from McGowan. Gets a piece of this. Up the middle it goes into center field. Here comes another Hillers run. It's a 6-0 game. Here she is more than likely going to swing if it's anywhere close and she will hold up as that one way inside. And a run will walk in 7-0 Hillers. It's a piece of this one up the left side, through the legs of the third baseman, one in to score. Here comes Emily Whalen. Another two runs cross for the Hillers, and how about that? An eight run bottom of the third, and it's now a 10-0 ball game. Eight runs in the bottom of the third. The Hillers ended up with a 12-0 Mercy win. Hopkinton finished the regular season with 12 wins and seven losses overall. The only senior on the team, Emma Murphy, was the player of the game against Bellingham, going four for four at the plate and driving in five runs. I talked with Emma Murphy after the game. Tom Nappy here with today's star, Emma Murphy, and also the only senior for the Hopkinton Hillers this season. Emma, you went four for four here on senior day today. A terrific uh, 12 to nothing win against a good Bellingham team. Uh, can you talk about this game and the performance of your team out there today? Um, I think we just did a really good job defensively, and defense turned into offense, and we were able to kind of get the bats going later in the game. So I think it was a team win through and through. And you teed off on this Bellingham pitching today. Uh, what did you see out there uh, from the pitchers, and what do you think led uh, to so much success at the plate? Um, I just kind of took what my teammates gave me that had at bats before me. Um, I looked for my pitch. I stayed patient. and. I just sat back on the ball and tried to find something I could drive. And how's it playing with this group this season? It's been awesome. Being the only senior, the underclassmen have been great, and I know the future is bright for this team. And did you enjoy the uh, poem they read you uh, prior to the game? Yes, I did. Uh, had some good laughs in there. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Of course, the postseason not too far away, and hopefully many more games to come. Yes, thank you very much. I heard, I heard uh, Ms. Murphy say it's senior day. Uh, and we led with our defense. We played really, really good defense because we don't get a lot of strikeouts you know, as far as on the mound. I think our girls on the mound are doing a really good job. We don't get a lot of strikeouts. We got to make a lot of plays. And as the years gone on, we get more balls hit at us. And you know, we just—I think we've done—we did a really good job of. We, I like to call it protecting the softball. And as far as I, I don't know, but I think almost everybody in the lineup had a hit. Uh, and it's up and down the lineup. We've really hit the ball well this year. The girls have really responded and uh, done a great job. And a, a good pitching performance today by uh, Katie Holly, And, of course, um, uh, Emily Whalen has pitched well uh, this season also. But I think the key for the Hillers this year uh, has, has been the hitting. So it seems like whenever the pitching's down, the offense just picks it right back up. Right. And, again, those girls have done a great job on the mound. Um, you know, Miss Whalen hasn't pitched in a few years. It's come back. And, and Katie ha hasn't really pitched that much. And they, when we lost both our pitchers, um, they knew they, somebody had to step up and they're they're going to be call it, they're college athletes. They're going to be college athletes. They've done a great job on, on the mound, kept us in games. And you know, some days we got to out slug people. We didn't today. Bellingham, um, very, very good team. Um, I, I was worried about them with their offense because they've had a potent offense this year. Coach Baker, who I've known for 
gosh, I've known him for 30 years. He's a great baseball coach, great softball coach. He, he knew they'd be up for us, and uh, we came ready, which is great. I mean, this is a big win. I mean, we only returned four girls from last year, but the girls have gotten a lot better defensively. Um, our outfielders, uh, Jordan and Kristen, did a great job also. Megan uh, and, you know, those that's three sophomores, so that's, that's fantastic. And of course, today you were celebrating Senior Day. One senior on the team, yeah, Emma senior. Murphy, and she was also today's MVP going uh, four for four. Can you talk about her performance in this game? Just all season long, she's been terrific. Emma, Emma's been swinging a, a great, great stick since like the f fourth or fifth game. Plays a great third base. Uh, I'm guessing she's got 25, 27 ribbies. She's hitting the, hitting the ball in the head all over the place and, and just great kid, great captain. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny just to have one senior, but she had it. She had a great day today. And by the way, that ball was fair down the line, in my opinion. But that's okay. She had a great day. She continues to to really pick her team up. You know, at the beginning of the year, we didn't really know who was going to bat fourth, and I thought she would drive runs in. But I, I'm guessing she's hitting about close to 500 now, 470, something like that. She uh, in the last three or four games raised her average at least 100 points. Just done a great job for us. Super, super good. Might even be over uh, 500 now. And yeah, she also had five RBIs today alone. Oh, wow. Qu quite impressive numbers. Uh, well, Coach, uh, it's a young group out there this year, but they seem to have great chemistry. What's it like to coach this group this season? The thing I love most is this, is no matter what the score is, we don't give up. I think if you look down, you never know if we're up or down because the girls play the same way. And that's one of the things as a coach you always want to see. And we play, everybody gets a shot. I'd say most girls have you know started three or four times or try to get as many girls in. Today I didn't do as much of that, but I will on Thursday. Uh, I just feel like the girls fill the spots. And and we, we've taken a lot of reps in practice, uh, hitting and, and fielding. And I'm very impressed and pleased. You don't know at the beginning, especially when you don't have one of your pitchers coming back. And, the girls have responded. I mean, we uh, played Central Catholic the other day, down 6 nothing. We come back and tied, although we lost an extra innings. We've had it when we played Medfield. I don't know if you, you did the Medfield game where we were down 5-1. to one, We tied in the 6th. They went out in the 7th. And then we, we just feel like we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be, we're gonna compete. We always compete. That's what you want. You want to compete. And they're a fun group to be around. They're, you know, there are a lot of smiles and giggles and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a nice group of kids. that uh, they. I heard one of the girls say about a week ago, they said, Katie Holly said they have – Really, really good, good chemistry with each other, all the way up and down the lineup. Well, Coach, uh, it's certainly been fun to cover this team this season, and we're looking forward uh, to hopefully uh, many more games uh, for the rest of the season and into the playoffs. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it.